start to solve for x, let's get it all alone and lonely. Let's undo the subtracting 2 by adding 2 to both sides to get that log all alone first. To undo a log, the opposite inverse operation of a log is an exponential form. So we're going to rewrite this in its exponential form, 3 to the 12th equals x. And hey, I've solved for x. x equals 3 to the 12th, whatever that is. My gosh, I can write. That's a 3. All right, we do it again. So start by getting the log alone. Divide both sides by 5. So you have log base 4 of x minus 7 equals 3. Rewriting this in its exponential form. Again, if you've got a log equation, undo it by rewriting it in its exponential form. So you have 4 to the third power equals x minus 7. So now you just have a normal equation. So just start solving this how you normally would. I know that 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4, so that's 64. Add 7, I get 71 equals x. Check. We do it again. So again, just kind of trying to get the log alone, subtract the 7 first. So I'll have minus 2 log x equals minus 20. Divide by negative 2, I'll have log of x equals 10. Uh, rewriting this in its exponential form. Remember, when we're too lazy to write the base, the base is a 10. That's our common log. It's 10 to the 10 equals x. So 10 to the 10 equals x. Really big number, one with 10 zeros. I'll leave it like that. We do it again. Uh-oh, now we've got two logs. But we just did that whole chapter on how to combine logs into a single log. So let's smush these together. So they have to have the same base, log base 4. And if you're adding logs, you can multiply the inside. So that'll be the log base 4 of 3x equals 2. Woohoo! Now this looks exactly like what we've been dealing with. We can now write this. Oops, my video cut out, but we'll jump right back in. I was just about to rewrite this in exponential form as 4 to the second equals 3x. So 4 to the second equals 3x. So 16 equals 3x. Just divide by 3 to solve for the x. 16 divided by 3 is x. And we've got it. Uh, again, smoosh the logs on one side of the equation together. So the log, uh, they both have the same base, so we're allowed to do it. If I'm adding logs, I'm multiplying the insides. When we don't write a base, it's assumed to be 10. So I know that 10 to the 7th equals 4a. 10 to the 7th equals 4a. So divide by 4, 10 to the 7th divided by 4, that'll be what a is. It'll be a pretty big number, I'm just going to leave it there. It's 1 with 7 zeros divided by 4. Uh, we keep going, smoosh these together. Uh, it'll be log base 7, multiply 2 times c equals 3. So 7 to the 3rd power equals 2z, divide by 2. 7 to the 3rd divided by 2 equals z. All alone and lonely. There we go. And again, oh no, now we're subtracting. But that just means that in a single log we're dividing. So 12p divided by 6 equals 5. So 3 to the 5th equals uh, 12p over 6, which I know is just 2p. Uh, 3 to the 5th is 243, and that's 2p. And so then divide by 2, so whatever 243 divided by 2 is, is p. Check. And again. So smoosh the logs together. We have log base 5 of 32 divided by 8 will be 3. I can rewrite 32 divided by 8 as 4. So 5 to the third power should equal 4. 5 to the third power equals 4. 125. Whoa, where's the x? <laughs> t. There's a t in there. I'm like, 125 doesn't equal 4. Forgot the t, so it should have been 32t, 4t, 4t, uh, 4t. And now I can divide by the 4, 125 divided by 4 equals t. And again, so ln has the same properties as logs because it is a log. It's just log base e. So ln of 72a divided by 12 equals 3. So that means the base is e, so e to the third power equals uh, 72a divided by 12. So that's uh, 6a. So solving for a, just divide by the 6. So e to the third divided by 6 is a. And this is 4. So... Uh, 
uh, get rid of the 3 first, so we'll have log base 2 of 4 plus log base 2 of x equals 4. Now smush these together, they have the same base, so I can multiply the insides. Now undo the log by taking, writing it in exponential form, 2 to the 4th equals 4x. 2 to the 4th is 16 equals 4x, divide by 4, x equals 4. And again, so divide by the 4 first, log base 5 of 4x minus log base 5 of 2 will equal 4 when you divide by 4. Smush these logs together, I can do 4x divided by 2 will be 2x, that'll be equal 4. I write it in exponential form, 5 to the 4th equals 2x. So that's 1, uh, sorry. so 625 equals 2x, so 625 divided by 2 will equal x. Ooh, something slightly different. Everything we've done so far has had logs on one side and a number on the other. Logs on one side and a number on the other. This one has logs on both sides. Oh no. Uh, so, hmm. so this is actually easier. If the log of this equals the log of that, then this should equal that. So x plus 4 should equal 12. Set the insides the same. So x should be 8. I'm realizing we should have been checking all of our answers to make sure that no logs were harmed in the solving. Uh, you can't take the log of a negative number, so once you get your answer, just put it back in. 8 plus 4 is 12. That's positive. It checks out. Um, I don't think anything... I'll go back and check for the rest of them, but every time we do a log, you must check your answers. So we'll keep. We'll do that from now on. So, um, let's see. So you always want single logs on one side, so smush these together. They have the same base, so I can multiply the insides. 30x. So if the log of this equals the log of that, then this must equal that. Just set the insides equal to each other. So x will be 4 divided by 30 equals 2 over 15. Before I box it, make sure that 3 times 2 15 is positive. It should work. Uh, let's smush all this together. So they all have the same base. I see some subtraction, so I'm going to set myself up a division sign. So anything that's positive will be on top and multiplying. Anything that's negative will go on the bottom. So I'll have 100 on the top, an x on the top, and a 25 on the bottom because it was negative. And that will equal the log base 5 of 22. So if you just simplify 100x divided by 25, that's 4x equals log base 5 of 22. Again, logs on both sides. If the log of this equals the log of that, then this must equal that. So 4x equals 22. So x equals 22 over 4, which is 11 over 2. Check. And there's the x. That's 11 over 2 is positive. It works out. And again, smush this side together into a single log. Uh, anything that's positive will go on top. So the 24 goes on top, but the 6 will be on the bottom because it's negative. The Two will be on top because it's positive. Equals the ln of 38. Uh, simplify this. I can take out a 4, so that'll be 8. The ln of 8 equals the ln of 38. And again, I lost my x. The x should have been on the 24, so it should have been 24x, so that's 8x. Uh, if the log of this equals the log of that, then this must equal that. So x should be 38 over 8, which is 19 over 4, and no, that's not making any inside of a log negative, so 19 over 4 it is. We keep going. Uh, get rid of the 5 first so we can get this log alone. And 12, log base 3 of x minus 4, divide by 2, you get 6. Uh, now again, just rewrite it in its exponential form. 3 to the 6 equals x minus 4. Add the 4, so 3 to the 6 plus 4 will be x. That's nice and positive, so, and if you subtract 4, it'll be 3 to the 6, which is positive, so there it is. Uh, you can use a calculator to figure out what that is. I'm going to leave it there for now. 
uh, smush these together, ln of 21x equals 2, so the base is e, so e to the second power equals 21x, so e to the second over 21 equals x, check. Smush these together, they got the same base, so I can go ahead and divide the insides, 21x divided by 3 is 7x equals 4, so exponential form, 4 to the 4th equals 7x, 4 to the 4th equals 7x, so whatever 4 to the 4th divided by 7 is, that's x. And it's positive, we're good.